Hi, I'm Mary Catherine, and I'm playing Rafiki in The Lion King. Okay, I am Josie. I uh, play the part of Nala. Well, my name is Elliot, and uh, my character is Mufasa. The process of production is um, a, a, a massive undertaking. This year I actually gave kids an option to choose uh, out of three shows and all of them, pretty much all of them chose The Lion King. And then uh, we hold auditions, which were held in uh, mid-September. Um, we start rehearsals um, in early October, early October when we've chosen our cast. And this year we had such strong performances that for the very first time we doubled the cast. So we have a red cast and a blue cast. Um, so there are 15 leads uh, who alternate. While meanwhile, the rest of the cast play all the other characters for the other productions, the other four shows. So through rehearsals, we started meeting on a Wednesday for two hours, uh, and then we build to Thursday as well. And then uh, in January, it gets pretty hectic, and we do three Saturday rehearsals um, through that. I'm Maria, I'm in M4, and I do set design for The Lion King. My name is Stacy Jindalia, and I'm a middle school art teacher. We make masks for the animals, uh, costumes, and backgrounds. So far, everything looks fantastic. It's extremely colorful. We have uh, fabrics from the costume designer coming from East Africa, so it looks very authentic. It's very bright. And I think there's a lot of detail from the watercolor backdrops to the fabrics to the paintings on the headpieces. So I think we really can't go wrong. The most rewarding part is definitely, without question, getting to see your art on stage. Everything that we've all made here in set design looks really good on stage. And especially with the actors and the lighting, and everything just really comes together in the end with the sets and the costumes and the masks, even their little mistakes. I'm really excited, like it's all really coming together. I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna like forget something because now everything's more like, you, you visualize everybody there, you get kind of scared, but this is really cool. Uh, it's just really fun to act and to sing and to dance. Well, that's the wonderful thing about live theatre, you never know what's going to happen and there's always a risk involved uh, dealing with all of those pieces of the puzzle that have to align perfectly to create a, a wonderful performance and that's I think part of the excitement of putting on a show. You know with film you can take two if you make a mistake, there's no taking two in live theatre, you have to pick it up and you have to um, just go with it, whatever's happening. And I think the key for me has always been making sure our cast is incredibly prepared and so that they know what they're doing. Their job is clear, they're confident in what they're doing and the only nerves they have uh, is the excitement of opening night. Um, so I, I feel very confident this show is, is really ready and uh, it's really up to the kids just to start shining now and pop, you know, making sure they're giving their best performance. Um, and if, if the dress rehearsals are any indication, I think we're in for a great show. I auditioned for Scar and Mufasa and um, I was chosen as Mufasa. I auditioned for Scar and Simba. I auditioned for the show originally when I was in the fifth grade and I thought it was like the next Britney Spears, but I was actually like probably really bad and nobody had the guts to tell me. I am most excited for the actual like going out because it gives you like a thrill. Like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, it's the excitement when you're performing. I, I guess at first I was shocked that uh, they would consider me for that part. But you know that now I've kind of gotten used and comfortable to the idea of being Rafiki. It's really nice. He's one of the best parts in my opinion. My role is basically Mufasa. And I have a partner who's also Mufasa, and so we do a lot together. The environment is very nice, and I enjoy being with them, and yeah. I do think that even when I leave Eunice and I move on, I'll still want to be a part of this big community 
of musical people and people like me. Working with young kids um, has always been a bit of a passion. I've been teaching for 22 years and um, seeing kids uh, grow and become self-confident has always been a, a fantastic thing as a teacher. But I think the power of theatre is when um, kids take on a role and they are involved in a huge production like this, that it has the power to change the way they feel about themselves. It has the power to change the way they feel about people around them and it has the power to change the way they feel about the world.